Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. In order to perform almost any task on a layer, you must first be able to select it. You can select a layer by using the Layers panel to click on the layer that you'd like to select. Just like that. Then any changes that you make will affect only the selected layer protecting the content of the other layers. However, this can also be a source of aggravation for new users. If you're trying to make a change to an image and you find that the changes that you're trying to make aren't being applied, first check to make sure that you have the correct layer selected. This is really easy to forget when you're first starting out using layers, so be sure to double check your layer selection before making a change in a layered image file. Now you can also hide or show layers in a layered image file. To change the visibility of a layer, click the eye icon at the left end of the layer or layer set to toggle the selected layer's visibility on or off. Just like that. You can do that with any of the layers. Now a neat twist on this is used when you want to view only a single selected layer. In that case, you can hold down the Alt key on your keyboard and then click on the eye icon of the layer or layer set that you want to view. All of the other layers will have their visibility turned off. So this can be really nice when you want to concentrate on working with a specific image element in a layer without the distraction of content of other layers. So for example, I can hold down the Alt key Give it a click and you'll see all those other layers disappear and just do the reverse to make them reappear. Now you can also quickly duplicate a layer to create another copy of the content in the image or in another image file for that matter. Be aware that if you duplicate the layer in an image file with a different pixel resolution that the layer's content may appear a different size than you intended. Now, if you want to create a duplicate layer, just click and drag the layer in the Layers panel and then drop it on top of the New Layer button. So we'll click and drag, and we'll see that it creates the copy for us. So if we use our Move tool, for example, we can move that over here and we'll see we've duplicated that layer. Now, you could also do that by selecting a layer, then go up to the menu bar and select Layer, Duplicate Layer from the menu bar. When you do this, you'll be presented with the Duplicate Layer dialog box. In this case, you would enter a name in the As text box right here, and then you would use the Document drop-down to select into which of the open image files that you have that you want to copy the duplicate into. When you're done, you select OK. Now you can change the order of the layers in an image as well. Let's move this duplicate layer we've just made, for example. We'll move it right here. When you're using layers, the newly created layers stack on top of the older layers. When a layer is stacked on another, the content of the layer on top supersedes the content of the layer below. You can change the order of layers in a stack very easily by simply clicking and dragging the layers up or down in the Layers panel. The bottommost layers are shown at the bottom of the Layers panel, increasing in order through the stack up to the topmost layer. So for example, we could take our copy of this and move it down here and you'll see that we change the order and thus the look of our image. Now you can also link layers to allow you to move their content together. Also when you perform activities like copying and pasting the layers, the linked layers will be treated as if they were the same. So if you'd like to link two layers together, to do that you select the two layers in this case, we'll select our text layer here, and then hold down the control key to select your other layer, and we'll select this layer here. 
and then click on the chain link icon to link those two together. When you do, you'll see the little chain link appear at the end of the layers which indicates they're now linked together. If I go then and move that, they'll both move together. And then of course you can also click the chain link again, it's a toggle button, to unlink those layers that were previously linked. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.